Sodran dares to take us where history books have never gone. His Manila tours remain to be largely an independent venture, and as one local tourist said, if history professors were as passionate as Carlos, then many of us would have given more relevance to our past. <laughs> That's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, the I'm not a teacher. I'm just a comedian. I'm just a comedian who uses film industry as my, as as the content of, of of my comedy. I think now with the economic crisis, like a lot of people are now choosing to discover Manila instead of spending the dollars and going abroad to discover Hong Kong. I mean, like as uh, Melanie Marquez says, it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> or is that film? Philippine history is hardly ever written from our point of view. Usually before, like in the 19th century, there's always a foreigner's version of what Philippine facts and events should be. Philippine history is taught, I believe, too young. There's really less emphasis on processing the information. So it's basically just memorization. Mm. So there can be a career out of this? Of course, and let my, let my tours be living proof that there is viability in arts and culture. And so I need to prove to people that by doing something like performance art, as a tour, using arts and culture and our history, there, there actually is an end to it all. You actually can make a, you know, and not a crazy living, but I can afford cell phone load and eat out every time, <laughs> and eat out every time I want to. I mean, when you go abroad, when you say the word Filipino to people, the first thing they think is like a, a dancer, a singer, or somebody who's into the arts. I mean, the word art is really associated with the word being Filipino. Come on, we're the only Southeast Asian people that won a Tony and an Oscar and you know what I'm saying? And we're now the lead singer of like Journey. <laughs> we almost became the lead singer of NXS. I mean, like really, we are a world-class people when it comes to our arts and culture. What about Imelda? What, what is it about Imelda that's very interesting? Everything about Imelda is interesting. Did we create her? Did she create us? Remember, early Imelda was not the evil shoe-collecting freakazoid. I mean, this woman, a Filipina from the provinces, rose up the ranks of the world to open the United Nations here at the Woma, to cut for peace in Mindanao, to the creation of the Philippine Agreement, to create the Cultural Center of the Philippines, National Center of Arts. We can't just pretend that she, pretend that, like, other things that she never happened. It's either what, they're going to ignore the woman with the Cadillac sleeves? Or are we going to reanalyze why it happened, how we let it happen, where did it all go wrong? What were some of the information that um, the locals didn't know about, that they were surprised to learn about? A lot of Filipinos are surprised about the lack of involvement of the Spanish king in the running of the Philippines. I'm not diminishing our Spanish colonial experience, but compared to Peru and Mexico, we had it good. Because basically they didn't want our gold, only the Americans found our gold. So what they really wanted was our souls. So if you really look at it, you can see this in Jose Rizal's books. If you look at the abuses that were done to Nolimi Tangere, who's the bad guy? Padre? Amazon. So why is a priest the antagonist? It's because Jose Rizal was warning us against religion and theocracy, the strongest force in the Philippines, and its negative effects. Have yeah. you ever been asked to run for public office? Are you joking? <laughs> now, some people have said, why don't you do it, right? Yeah. Your wife would love to be first lady. <laughs> yeah, she'd love it a little bit too much, actually. Um, have more shoes than no, you. I really, no offense to any politicians out there. If you want to help Philippine society the least, run for office. That's why there can't really be a Barack Obama of the Philippines, because everyone is compromised. Not even Judge Morbina, eh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, tapang ya, huh? I was like, wow, you're a brave guy. Judge Obina. What about going around and giving condoms? I saw you doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's also another one of my advocacies here in Intramuros. And it's also all about adopting the community around you and trying to be the change that you want to see in society.